Hey, it's David Hulka, and today I'm in Flagstaff, chilly Flagstaff, Arizona. I think it's October 22nd, right, Leslie? Yep, October 22nd. October 22nd, and it's like 41 degrees at the trailhead, and there could be up to a 25 mile an hour wind today. So I am dressed warmly. <laughs> Got my Hike AZ beanie cap on. Um, and we're doing Kachina Trail. This is a 10.2 mile, at least according to all trails right now, 10.2 miles and 1500 foot vertical hike. I'll let you know what it is when we complete it. Um, but we're here to see the aspens and I've actually really never been up here during the fall to see how the leaves change themselves. So I'm looking forward to it and let's go check it out. This is the beginning of the hike and you can already see the aspens. This is Leslie. And a wild human. And wild human number two. And Ned. Ned Bulge. My hiking partners for the day. Our first uh, good glimpse at some really good aspens here. Look at the leaves falling around us here. This is so pretty. And we're probably a little bit past the prime, but obviously it's so gorgeous. Whatever you need. One and a half miles in at this point. Pretty cool. Great view here. Another amazing view. We're probably 2.3 miles in. I didn't check, but something like that. Just, it opens up here, so it's very nice to see out there in the valley. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this trail is that the elevation at the trailhead is 9,300 feet above sea level. So that is pretty high. Uh, so obviously um, a good idea up here in Flagstaff would be to get acclimated the night before if you want to uh, do that. I didn't, but uh, you can do so if you choose to. Let's get a look at the view here. We're 2.9 miles in. It's mostly shade, even though I'm in the sun right now, mostly shade, but there are these patches where it opens up like this. And according to all trails, we've only done like 230 foot elevation gain. I'm not sure that's accurate. That may not update until the end, but if we've got 1500 foot elevation to go the whole entire way. We've got some climbing to do so. 4.4 miles in. Yeah, we're getting some good aspens again. We've had a lot of walking through cones or uh, pine cones and coniferous trees. There's Ned back in the uh, aspens again here. I took my jacket off. I took my beanie cap on. Just took a baseball, put a baseball cap on, and th then of course, as soon as I do that, the wind picks up. Yeah, this is really pretty right here. Super pretty. We're 4.8 miles into this hike. That's what, 5.1 5 miles before we turn around, so. It's too sunny. What you doing down there, Ned? Deleting all the memories so I can make new photos. <laughs> He's out of storage on his phone. Beautiful spot here. We're 5.3 miles in, and this is supposed to be a 10.2 mile round trip hike, so. We're already past the point where we think we should have turned around, although we're not done yet. We're clearly not done yet. Uh, and we've heard there was a burnt out part, and you can see it, we're in it right now. Pretty sad. Let's go back this direction. Really, back that direction, there is no fire damage. And this way, there is. In fact, you can see it's still aspens. Those white trees are aspens, but they don't have any leaves on top of them. 5.7 miles now into this 10.2 mile hike, and we have it while we're turning around right now, which obviously puts us at 11.4 miles by the time we get back to the trailhead. So, Never believe anything all trails tell us. Uh, so, and we're not even done yet. We, I mean, I don't know if this ain't, that's the way to go to get, um, to continue to the end of the trail. We're gonna go back this way. Let me turn it all the way around here so you can see everything. But I don't think there's any more scenery down this way. 
we 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 would t-bone into uh, Weatherford Trail, but that's it. There's no like grand finale to this hike. So if you're gonna do it, you turn around wherever you want to turn around. Maybe get to the burnt out point like we did here, like we're in right now. See that, and then turn around. But all trails fails once again with distances. Okay, so we are done. I didn't record anything on the way back since it's an out and back hike, but we made it back to the cars. I clocked 11.2 miles and over 1,600 foot vertical. Um, so again, all trails lies. It said it was. We didn't. We didn't get to the end. We didn't even get to where it ends and then turn around. We got 99.5% of the way done probably, and turned around, and we still got 11.2 miles. So. Um, hopefully, hopefully you like this video. I saw a lot of people when we were coming back, they were heading out then, then, then in the morning when we were heading out. So, um, if you like this video, please hit like and, uh, and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Peace.